Well hello everybody and welcome back to the Bayfields Light Railway. Now it's been requested that I do a voiceover for my next video so let's give that a go. Um, first of all I just want to say thank you to everyone who's liked, subscribed and commented on my previous videos. It really does mean a lot and it's uh, greatly appreciated. And of course big thank you to my old mate Nick who again has done the music on this one. And uh, yeah enough of this nonsense. Um, let's get on and see some trains running. Well, the first engine we have here is Wendy. Um, this is actually my second ever live steam engine, which I built from a kit. Um, it's essentially a roundhouse billy chassis and a roundhouse lady Anne boiler with a Mike's Models Simply 7.8's body kit and it makes quite a nice chunky engine. Wendy's also got a whistle fitted from DJB and it's got radio control on the regulator and the reverser and the whistle as well. The carriages were kits and they're based on carriages that ran on the Ashover light railway painted in Midland red and I've added my own decals for the Bayfields light railway so although the railway is freelance and not based on anywhere in particular it takes inspiration from many narrow gauge railways around the UK but I like to think it's set somewhere in the southwest of England Dorset, Devon, Somerset, somewhere like that. It means I can run freelance or prototype locos and rolling stock, but it's important to me that everything is based in some kind of reality and could have existed at some point. Pine Ridge Station um, is clearly based on the many stations on the Linton and Barnstable Railway which is one of my favourite railways. Next up we have a AccuCraft Cranmore Peckett. This is one of their latest models which came out in early 2022. I actually reviewed this model for Garden Rail magazine and it really is fantastic. Since that review I've made quite a few modifications. These include new buffer beams and radio control just on the regulator. The wagons are all from Swift 16. They're all resin kits and I've added my own wagon loads and weathering and so on just to make sort of a works train. Now Bayfield Station is based on a station on the Ryan Camber tramway. I really like uh, corrugated iron buildings, so I've got a few of those on the layout at the moment. So most of my buildings 
wasps do stay out most of the year, but I tend to bring them in over the winter when I'm not running. So most of my buildings are made on bases so they can easily be carried in and out of the shed just to give them some protection. So a latest addition to the railway is the mine pit head and the engine house. And this was really inspired by a recent visit to the old Snail Beach mine up in Shropshire. And, uh, I thought I just wanted to add to my industrial corner of the layout and um, also makes quite a nice backdrop. And the final loco we see today is an 060 tank engine. The model is based on a prototype made by the Yorkshire Engine Company and three of these were made for service in India. But the model was originally, it was serialized in engineering in miniature, um, but model engineers laser actually make a kit for this engine. Now I'm pretty sure that this engine was built from the kit. I'm not sure by whom. It's got a very short six coupled wheelbase, which is great on the tight curves. Originally it was manual control, but I've since fitted a servo to control the regulator. Um, I think having radio on this model makes it much more manageable, um, although it does run very, very well indeed. And it's seen here pulling some skip wagons from Binny Engineering and a couple of the old Triang skips as well. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the uh, edition of a voiceover. There's uh, Domino the cat watching the trains go by. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos. I'm gonna try and do as many a year as I possibly can. It's just having the time to actually get out there and do them. But uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Bayfields Light Railway and uh, I'll see you on the next one.